So uh, uh, let's continue the simulation of uh, photonic crystal pixel on numerical FDTD. So this is our photonic crystal pixel structure that I described before. So let's add a solver, FDTD solver. So as you see here, this solver is added to the simulation region. If you right click on the solver and you can see that we select a 2D simulation for this structure and a boundary condition in the X direction, X main is symmetric and for X max is PML, Y min is PML and Y max is PML. If you, for instance, select asymmetric, you can see that the, the color is uh, changes accordingly. So, uh, so let's uh, select symmetric again. And uh, uh, now we can add the dipole. So you can add the dipole cloud Dipole cloud from here. Let's see here. We can type dipole and uh, dipole cloud, and you can add the dipole cloud in the simulation region. So let's. If you right click on the dipole, you can see that I select five dipole. This is the center of my dipole, and this is the Y span, so, uh, and also you can see the, the position of dipole in the active region. So you can see a different dipole position in the active region in three dimensional case in XY view X, Z, and Y, Z view. Then we need some monitors. So I have added some monitor, for instance, uh, let me disable these two items to, we can follow the monitor and where we put them. I have added a time monitor in the active region and the time monitor uh, can uh, this is the, the parameters that we want to record. So, and this is the place of our time monitors. You can add the time monitor from here as a time monitors so, and want to add a resonance finder. So let me I disable this one to follow the resonance finder. So if you see in the resonance finder also, you can add the resonance finder from here. If you follow the resonance finder, and you can, you can calculate the resonance with the with uh, different time monitors. You see here, this is a random place for the time monitors. You can put it in random place, but, but it must be an active region. You can see a different place of monitor you can follow. Uh, this is the monitor, time monitor and monitors in our, our active region. So by this way, we can calculate the uh, this script and this thing in this uh, analysis group in the numerical FTTV. You can calculate the uh, spectrum. So and also this is the script of Resonance Finder. So 
Oh, let me I disable this one and enable Q analysis. So for the for the Q calculation, also there is opportunity in numerical FTT that you can calculate the uh, quality factor. So by again by different time monitors, you can calculate the Q analysis. You can put add the Q analysis and spectrum here. After one the analysis, you can calculate the quality factor. You can add the Q analysis again by group. So, so now we find, uh, we know how we can find the resonance. We can calculate Q factor now. We want to know the uh, the profile mode in in a different part of the pixel. For instance, um, this part. So this profile mode, the geometry of this profile mode is two DZ normal. And uh, so it covers uh, both, it's cover, it covers substrate, bottom layer, active region, top layer, and photonic crystal. But the main thing um, regarding to uh, these monitors is that time apodization. And what is the time apodization? It, we, we, we use the time optimization for, uh, for to actually exclude the effect that occur near the start and end of the simulation. In this case, we can use the time optimization in frequency domain. So for instance, this is for start, this is for end, this is for full monitors. For instance, here is a full apodization. Uh, so, as you can see here, in in our case, we use a nine per second for uh, uh, for the center apodization, and, and uh, we put the width for the uh, rapidization. So I, I will show you how how it works, uh, and it, it, this is a, also is a good example. Please follow this example to understand what does it mean. So it compare the result of start rapidization, no rapidization, and it's uh, can give you a good idea regarding the, the simulation and using this kind of. So, um, and also we calculate the mode just for these wavelengths. Let's, uh, let's show the result of these monitors. Mm, then we can calculate, we can continue with other monitors. So let's go to the simulation part. Uh, here, if I run the simulation for the time monitor that I showed you, you can see this picture. So here you can see that after three picosecond, uh, the overlap, the push overlap, Constant, quite constant. So, so when we we put the full apodization on nine picosecond, it means that we work here, and so we we do not calculate an effect the start fluctuation. You can see here there is some fluctuation in and. 
when modes, but these modes are disappeared in nine picosecond. After three picosecond, this mode is disappeared. See here easily. Yes, after three picosecond, we can see that just we have one dominant mode. So, um, so for this reason, um, in this monitor, in this monitor, oh, sorry, in this monitor, we put, we will we'll put. Nine picosecond amplification with hundred femtosecond width. So, what what is the output of uh, this monitor, this profile? So, why why we select this wavelengths? Why we select this wavelengths for this monitor? So, let's see the result of. Uh, Resonance finder. So if I visualize the resonance finder in the spectrum and if I select log scale, then select the central spectrum. Frequency, resonance frequency, you can see that is around 0.86. I mean, uh, it's around 0.86, and the, the, the exact value is, is, uh, is 0.858137. For this reason, we select this wavelength. So, because we, we want to study the, the mode. Exactly in this wavelength. For instance, if if we select the mode profile and visualize the E, we can see that we can see that the mode distribution in different X and y so this is y and this is x and this is our mode uh, profile through the tonic crystal pixel so the question is that how this mode looks like in other wavelengths so we can add other monitors monitors So let me disable this monitor and select this monitor enable. You can see this is a cover the whole structure. And instead of all stand wavelengths, we can put the general the wavelength center as 0.86 with 10 nanometer, for instance. Uh, And uh, just we will select the time apodization as, as a start apodization because we want to ignore the, the we want to ignore the just the first simulation. I mean the transient behavior at the fair, at the start of our simulation, but we don't want to ignore other modes. So if you remember, if you remember again, if I select the, this monitor and see the e behavior, we want to consider this kind of modes. So this kind of modes also is our interest. For this reason, I select 1.5 picosecond to study also this kind of modes. And 
want I, I want to I want in, I am interested to see the the behavior of these modes also in the simulation. So let's let's see the results, visualization and and uh, change the x and y to micrometer. Now I change the wavelengths and see the mode behavior in different wavelengths. Now when we when we move to the central resonance frequency, you can see that uh, a good mode distribution and see here. And then we move from the resonance frequency. You can see that the mode distribution looks like this. Okay. So but, but for this reason, we select, we select the spectrum average amplification and 1.5 picosecond. So it's 100 femtosecond star. So and select part. So, uh, and also, uh, maybe also you, you are interested to see the, uh, the monitor, for instance, in, in this region, in the X direction, you can see, or maybe you interested to Y monitor, in this case, so let's see the results. And this is for X2 behavior. See? Chase and the Y. Hello. And see the, the Y distribution. So if I change the wavelengths, you can see how the profile change in just in y for, for constant x or, or y case you can see by this way also we can see the far field also visualize e There's um, yeah. can see that uh, the mode in, in different x direction. So yeah, this is near our central frequency or resonance frequency here. Yeah, you can see in different modes as. So, and also you can calculate the Q resonance, Q, quality of resonance, so it's around 10,000, so, and uh, yeah, that's it, so.